What is going on everybody? I am back with another video on the channel and in today's video we're going to be rebuilding the Wizards with Michael Jordan in 2002-2003 season. So yes, we're going to be trying to get Jordan a ring, one last ring on the Wizards. That team is not good at all, so it's not going to be easy at all. I'll show you the team in a minute here, but it's looking rough for sure. If you guys do enjoy this, make sure to like and sub. We are on the road to 100 subs, so... That'd be nice if we could hit that within the next couple months here. We're grinding on the channel, so appreciate all the support. So here is the roster I mentioned a minute ago. Um, Jordan and Jerry Stackhouse are the main two players in this team. And other than that, it's not looking good. We had old Christian Leitner, Larry Hughes in his prime, I guess. You could say that, I guess. Um, Charles Oakley's really old. Yeah, Jared Jeffries is a young guy. He's a little bit of value. I think I'm going to look to trade him. We also have Ty Lue, so that's interesting. Kwame Brown, too. He's on a huge contract for some reason, so it's going to be tough to trade him. Uh, Byron Russell. It's an interesting team here. The first trade I'm going to be doing in the video is Chris Weber and Hito on the team for Leitner, Jeffries, and a pick. So I think it's pretty good value for what we're getting and uh, the market is not great i'll show you some options for other players too but kwame brown is young and he's on a huge contract so he doesn't have any value for some reason well mostly because he's on a bad contract and he isn't good but here's the team after that trade let's see the, the lineup after that one we think we need a i don't know larry hughes uh we need a better center and a better bench but not a bad start to be honest um pretty solid big three there for the shooting guard in the forward positions but Jordan is 39 years old by the way so we kind of have like one shot at this maybe we can force him not to retire for if we don't win but I'm, I want to win first year so that's why I traded my pick if you're wondering what Kwame Brown's trade value was um here it is one and a half stars so I don't know which makes zero sense to me because he's coming into his first year in the league like no experience in the NBA yet so they haven't seen how bad he is. So I don't understand why he doesn't have more value. Uh, I don't understand his contract either. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe the cap went up this year, but we're gonna look for a decent trade like this. But the thing is, we don't want to acquire too much money in these small trades because we want to have cap to get like a hard hit or maybe the deadline or something. Um, we like we would like a better center with this trade or maybe a bench piece. Sean Bradley is an option. He has 30 though, and he's not great. Birdman, a young Birdman. Interesting. Speed Claxon. Other than that, it's like, there's no value. Derek Anderson. He's on a big contract though, I couldn't do that. With the Earl Boinkins, the short king, 5'5". Five, five. All right, so we're, we're actually able to find a trade to get rid of Kwame Brown, and we're just added a pick onto the other package we had, and we actually got Kurt Thomas as our center, so. Pretty solid if you ask me. Um, so this is what our roster will be looking at going into the year. We have pretty much an all AD overall lineup and then our bench. It's not great, but we'll see what we're doing at the deadline to make a move potentially. Since this video is a bit short, I'm gonna be showing you some of the other stuff um, that I do, like system proficiency. Like usually I never show that because I'm doing like a five year rebuild, like three years. Like this we're doing one year at most two. So for the example of this one, we'll be doing defense obviously because um, that's what's the best and that's where our coach is because we looked around there's nothing better than that so but there's something the same but not greater than that and like my lineup you can't really see it so there's no point even doing it but I'm probably gonna run on 10 man even though Jordan will get tired fast so it might be a little bit difficult if you guys do enjoy this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe potentially if you are interested in that because I'm gonna be posting a lot of these type of videos through the whole year, hopefully, um, every couple days I'll be posting a new one. For example, I just did a Dirk and Luca uh, Mavericks rebuild. Um, so I put Dirk in the modern era, which is kind of fun rebuild to do. Um, so yeah, check that out if you haven't already. All right, so I'm actually stopping before the deadline here because we're a 500 team below it. So I think we need to make a move even before the deadline to recover from this. Um, so we actually get a decent seed in the East, as I projected. Our whole team start, uh, retired. Because they're all like, I mean, these guys, Jordan has an excuse. These guys do not. They're like in their prime. Stop getting tired, bro. But other than that, yeah, you have an excuse too. You're freaking 39. Ty Lue, though, he's balling. So we're going to be doing a small trade here. Well, that's a bad joke because this guy's a little bit small. I mentioned him earlier. Earl Blinkins, the 5'5 legend. We're trading Brian Cardinal and Tyron Lue to get him. Um, 
Tyloo, well, he's doing good beginning of the year, but now uh, he just started doing good, I think, because at the beginning of the year, overall, he's just not shooting great. So I think he'll be a better backup point guard for the team. So we're now at the real deadline, and we did improve it slightly. We, we went on a three and lose streak right after the trade happened. But after that, we went undefeated. Well, what is that? We won right there, so six game win streak after that, so pretty solid. Um, should I make another move though is the question. I'm running 11 man, that way people aren't, don't get as tired so quickly. Jordan only put in 32 minutes a game. Jordan's been on 18 and Jesus, that three points, not good. But overall, pretty decent splits besides three pointers. Um, and hey, we're better than last year and that's a plus. So hopefully um, we can get the championship somehow. I don't know how it's gonna happen, but maybe we look to make another move here. Let me check the value of some of these dudes. I just wanted to show you some of these trades we're getting for Jerry Stackhouse because I found it pretty interesting. Like these are so cool. Like Michael Red would be so fun. The thing is, like, it's, we're dropping it overall. Forget Michael Red. I mean, he's younger, but like that means I don't know if he'll perform. And then like trades like this is crazy. Like I'm really old Malone, that's so why I don't want to do it. But Karolinko would be fun. Mike Bibby, like that. That'd be so fun. Grant Hill, like I'm more good with that. Minor Test and Brad Miller. Got a piece to our bench. We get a really good pick here. Um, but it's not going to matter because I want to do it this year. I actually did not mean to do that. Stefan Mob, are we going up to him? Yeah, it's like, it's tough, man. It's tough out here. After looking around for a bit, like, I don't think there's any trades we can do right now to get that much better. So I think we're just going to simulate the rest of the year and hope for the best. It's going to be a tough one because. We're going to be like a 60 at best probably, but hey, we're going to win right now, so maybe we won't be. So Tim Duncan is your MVP of the league, averaging 15 rebounds too. Wow, 27 points. It's a really good stat line for Timmy. Um, Boozer is your rookie of the year. Anyone from the Wizards? Greg Pop is your coach of the year. Okay. Any Wizards players up here? I mean, Jordan's probably the only one that would be, and he's not, so that's tough. Um, yeah, no Wizards at all. Stuff, man. So we did end up being the five seed, one better than I did expect, uh, which isn't terrible, I guess, but it's gonna be tough going against, let's see who they have on the box. Ooh, so they have Michael Red. who else do they got? Michael Red, Ray Allen, Sam Cassell, I like this Bucks team. Uh, it's pretty nice, their center is weak though, so hopefully you can take advantage of that. Game one going against this Bucks team, they take game one, one point game, man. Chris Webber did it all. Jordan, not so much. Um, game two though, come on, take it. We do take that one, tie it up at one to one. Ray Allen, he goes in and off. Chris Webber is a really good pickup for us. Jordan, Jordan isn't like that in this, I guess. Like, he's not that guy. But Chris Webber's gonna carry us to the finals. Come on, Jordan with a nice stat line though. Come on, take that one. We're up three one, let's go baby. Stackhouse put 34 up wasn't enough or no he's on our team forgot um so we did great with there jordan nine assists we'll take that from jordan ray allen put up a 30 bomb it wasn't enough and we take that series in five the gentleman sweep in the elimination game jordan jordan elimination games are different man great game from jordan let's see what we got in the next round and the one seed gets upset we know they don't i'm tripping the nets are good i think yeah chasing kid richard jefferson uh kenyon martin Interesting. Let's see who takes game one here. Game one goes to those Nets. Ah, that was a bad loss too. 19 assists for Jason Kidd. Wow. We're going to make some adjustments. All right, come on. Pull through Wizards. I take game two as well. Kenyon Martin put up some good numbers in that one. And Webb, Weber didn't do enough for us. I mean, he was great, but we needed Jordan to step up. All right, let's send with Simcast for game three. Come on. Come on, Wizards, take that. Good first quarter. Solid start to the second. Solid second quarter. It's not a blowout, though. Actually, yeah, it is. What am I talking about? Good job, Wizards. Take game three. Who had the number, or who had the hot hand in that one? Weber, of course. Game four, though. They We take game four as well. So we get back on track there. One point win. Jordan put up 21. Come on, if we take this game, this is means a lot, and you don't do it. Jefferson, um, we lost by four points, so we're in this series. All right, it's a winner go home game. Come on, guys, let's play good. We've played good in the simcast so far. 
one and zero in the Simcast. Come on, Wizards, don't don't let that go to crap. Wizards, it's a close game, back and forth. Oh, it's going down to the wire here. Oh my goodness, we're jumping in. It's a close game. Nobody's scoring. It's a defensive battle. Let's see what happens in this one. So we're in the 2000s era of the Simcast or the broadcast rather. Jordan with the ball, he gets the Boinkins. Why is he in? He gets stuffed. Oh my God, he's a midget. Oh my gosh, why is he taking those shots? Why is he even in the game, man? That's, that's actually so stupid. <laughs> oh, why did I trade for that midget? He's like, look at him. He shouldn't even be allowed to even be playing the game. Like, this is sad. Oh my goodness. Get the board, who? Nobody even crashed the board there. Matambo, the easy bucket. Nobody crashed the board. Oh, was that my Tomba? Yeah, it was. Jordan, come on, take over. Take it back to your Bulls days. Come on, play up, post them up. Oh no, it's that guy was the three. My goodness, man, every time I jump into a game, we suck. Every video I've done so far, and this is just a mess match, like it's a little boy. It's a little boy versus a grown man. <laughs> we need to stop desperately, Others, we're out of the playoffs. Come on, Wizards. Why is Boinkins on the floor? Thank God. Why are we following? What? This game makes zero sense. Okay, right, actually, I thought it was one time with a line. Like, why would you ever foul? 26 seconds left. We have plenty of time. Why do you foul? Oh, he misses. That's why, I guess. Okay, three seconds left. Or what? We need a three. Not three seconds left. We need a three ball. Give it to Jordan. I don't know. What is Jordan doing? Ah, oh, come on. We need more than the deuce. But he goes for a hook shot. And he makes it, okay? So, we need a steal. And hopefully we miss the line here. Get it, not the, don't get it to Kittles. Kid, I mean, he just missed one, so maybe he misses another. Come on. Kid at the line. He misses his first shot. Come on, kid. Miss again. Miss again, kid. Come on. He makes that one. It's, it's fine. It's fine. We just need one bucket here. A three-pointer would be nice to end the game. Jordan, it's your time to shine. Oh no, I do not have a good feeling about this. Come on, get the ball to Jordan and let's get out of this game. They give it to Hughes. Get the ball to Jordan, man. No, get it to him, yes. Jordan, working the post. Four, three, Jordan, step back. What is he doing? Mid range. It's no good. That is why LeBron is my goat. So the Spurs ended up winning the championship. Um, Tim Duncan was the MVP. The Nets. We, we were a sh Jordan shot away from going overtime, potentially winning the series in that one. Or, uh, yeah, so then advancing to the finals. So I, I like our chances next year. So I'm gonna go one more year and hopefully we can pull it out then. So player progression was a tough one. Jordan goes down three. He's now 40 years old. Hayward does go off though. That's pretty nice. We also signed Reggie Miller cause on a minimum because he's old and why not? He's only went down one. He can play. This guy I signed, he went down one at 29 years old. Yeah, so this team, it's a rough one, not gonna lie. All right, so we're gonna be doing this trade to get Steve Nash in the team. I think he's the perfect player to play next to Michael Jordan. So this is kind of when he had this breakout year around this time, or started to at least break out a little bit. So yeah, let's do this trade. We're getting rid of Stackhouse. He was decent for us last year. He could have been better in my opinion, so let's do it. So now I look to trade um, Larry Hughes and we actually got a better point guard coming in to be the sixth man. He was a great sixth man. He's gonna be ours. And also, Pfizer, can he play the small forward? He can, so I think he might be our starting small forward for the year. Trading, we're also getting rid of two first round picks, but those will not matter at all to me. So at the deadline, we are 26 and 19, not terrible. I do feel like we should be better with this roster, honestly. Um, but you know what? There's nothing else we can do right now. We could try to make a trade. I'll explore it, but I likely will not make one. I'll see you probably at the awards. So Kobe Bryant puts up a 30 to win the MVP. 50% from three is crazy. LeBron is your rookie of the year on the Heat. That's interesting. Uh, if you're curious, Melo is on the Sonics. Um, who did the Cavs end up getting then? The guys must have been not too bad when they got him. So, um, six man of the year, Jason Williams. Yao Ming with the most improved, but uh, let's see how our team did. Any, actually any Wizards players on the teams? Not expected, but you never know, and there's absolutely nobody. However, we were the four seed once again. I don't think we were actually the five seed last year, so now we're the four seed. We're going against 
Ah, oh, we're going against that LeBron-led Heat team in his first year with Perkins as well. So they got both in the same draft class, if I'm not mistaken. It's going to be an interesting team to go against. If you're wondering how everyone did in their year, Jordan regressed even more. He didn't do terrible, though, but Weber had a good game, or a good year. Um, Steve Nash did what he was asked to do. Crawford off the bench, pretty solid numbers. Hito, he's actually in the starting lineup because I didn't want to start Pfizer because he goes down like three overalls if I move him to three, so I'll show you the lineup and how everyone's doing. Jordan's on fire, and I think he actually went up and overall. Uh, maybe because it's playoff time or something, uh, which is kind of crazy, but we're going to think we're going to run a 10-man in the playoffs, and so hopefully we can advance. All right, so game one against that Heat team with LeBron. <sighs> LeBron probably had a million points because he does on Oh, actually, Karan Butler off the bench. Put a 26. Good stuff for Karan. Wisconsin native. Game one, or game two, actually, we take Eddie Jones for that. I thought, for some reason, I thought... This was our team because Karan Butler played for the Wizards. Um, but no, Michael Jordan, five for seven. Game three, though, we take it again. Let's go. Jordan put 20 in his old uh, age. 41 years old, by the way. Jordan is leading scorer once again. Well, three-way tie for it, but we win in overtime to advance. And we do advance once again. Jordan puts up 21. Jordan is MVP of the playoffs, I think, for us, um, points-wise at least. But Jesus, I think this Nets team's gonna advance again. I mean, they were the eight seed this time, so. Did they lose anyone? They did not. It seems they actually got better, so. Ah, oh, this is not gonna be easy, man. Game one, we take game one pretty confidently. Jordan, 19 points. And they take game two. Jordan leading score, but Richard Jefferson, good game for him. They take game three as well. We need to make an adjustment and quick because Jordan put up 27 points, but it wasn't enough, man. Who was sucking? Chris Webber, oh my god. All right, game four. We take game four, it was a must needed win. Only by one point though, so that was a close one. Michael Jordan, 20 and 10 game. And they take game three, not like this again. This is the same way it went last year. And we lose by three. Oh, come on guys, we need to pull through, at least get to game seven. Um, we're the top team this time. Come on, Wizards, don't choke. And we have a terrible second and a terrible third. Seven point game. We're still in it. Take over, Jordan. Come on. It's your time to take over. Do it. Two point game. Come on. Take over. Take over. Ah, uh, do I have to jump in? I don't want to, but 40 seconds left. Come on. Jordan, just win the game. All right, come on. 30 seconds left. Nash, just put it in the basket or something, bro. I don't know. Just do something. I don't want to even be here right now. Jordan, please. Nash. For three. Wide open. Are you serious, Steve? Are you serious right now, bro? Oh, how do you miss weapon three, man? If this costs us a series, you're done. All right, um, can I get the ball in? Can I get the ball in? I think that was, a, I think that was way longer than five seconds. Um, kid with the ball, do not let him get a three out of this. Come on, in his mouth, air ball. Okay, game over. All right, so it's game seven here. Let's check it out. Oh, come on, Wizards. You gotta take this game. Like, there's no if ands and or buts about it. Come on. Terrible first quarter, by the way. It's not looking great for the team. Down by eight. Down by oh, a little run there, but down by six with seven minutes to go. Make a run. Down by eight. I think it's over. And it's over. Wait, what am I doing? Wait, never mind. It was 11 points. I thought it was like 105 to 104. We lose in seven again. Or I think we lost in six last time. This Nets team had our number. They are literally an eight seed. But Shaq is your MVP. Lakers win it. And I'm officially done with this idiot team, bro. Um, I think we should have won that year. At least got to the conference finals or finals. Because like we were right there in both times. Second round of the series. We couldn't even get to the conference finals, man. It's like, <sighs> oh my God. If you guys did enjoy that video, make sure to hit the like button. Thank you guys for watching the whole thing. If you're here right now, that means you did, I think, unless you skipped for some reason. But it's alright if you did. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.